Okay, so I've allowed for the battery to dry on the back of the frame as well as the foam on the outside of my frame. You'll see that I have sewn the positive and negative terminal to the positive and negative terminal of the battery on the opposite side of the frame. So through that hole that we created in the back of the frame. Because of the placement of the negative and positive terminal being opposite of the lily pad, I actually had to take the conductive thread and sew underneath to cross sides here. So my conductive thread for my negative side and my positive side of my circuit are not touching. One's on one side of the fabric and one's on the other side of the fabric. Now if I turn on my battery, since the last programming code that I uploaded to the Adreno had the X blinking, this is how it's illuminating, I also took some non-conductive thread and placed a couple stitches in the top parts of my fabric to make sure that my second piece of fabric laid over the LEDs correctly. I'm going to turn off my power source. The last part that I need to do before I finalize this project is I need to get my fabric glue and I need to place a little bit of glue on the ends of my thread that I have knotted and this will just make sure that the thread does not fray over time. Now that the glue has dried, we're ready to put the rest of our frame together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold down the bottom here. Remember we don't want to permanently close this end because we want to be able to get to the microcontroller to change the programming. So I'm going to fold that under. Close the frame up. Of course the fabric is going to stick out a little bit. And I really just need to close it enough so that I can close one of the metal fasteners here. Power on. 